Hello, and thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing. I am so glad that you're here. I could not wait to get going and do the third episode. I've been doing some racing. I did a little leveling up. You'll notice I'm five finally over here in the corner, which means that Sophie has a task for me that she will not let me to do, do anything else until I listen to her. So I wanted to make sure that you were with me on this adventure. I don't know what it is, but we better check it out so that we can continue on our horse journey. Let's see, Sophie, what have you got for us? Skills, okay. Skills provide unique benefits to our horses. Here are two skills as a gift. Thanks. Oh, equip. Equip skills cannot be removed, only replaced. Oh boy. She just did it on her own. I didn't even, I didn't ask for this, Sophie. Learn more about skills by pressing the information button. Oh, there. Ooh, we get bonus gold. Skills provide unique benefits to horses, increase performance, earnings, or other characteristics. Some skills can only be applied to specific horses or take effect in certain races. Skills have limited uses and are only consumed when entering a race they match. Skills are available in different qualities. Higher qualities increase the effect. Cool. That makes sense. Oh, this horse doesn't meet the skill requirements. Okay. Wait, oh, so it has a skill now? And now we can equip the other one? Or maybe we met her goal. Maybe we don't want to do that yet. Oh no, we just have new goals. Okay, compete in three races. Train horses to level eight. Breed a grade three or higher horse, no pressure. Upgrade a full stall to tier five, buy a horse stall. Oh, I did that already. Uh, upgrade the training facilities and upgrade uh, our other stuff too. Um, oh, I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah. Let's collect our money. We can upgrade, might as well. I kind of accidentally got out of the whole, whole thing. I was working on <laughs> Oh well, we finished a goal. I need to go back and look at what that other skill was, see if we can apply it. It's because I hit go and I didn't mean to hit go. Skills, here we go. This is 25% bonus XP for grade three plus ors. Oh, okay, we don't have one of those yet. Yet. Ooh, daily board contains challenges and tasks from the community. Complete them for useful rewards. Sell a horse with a middle position preference. Collect 23,000 income from the homestead. Win any 40 items. Oof. We must win 40. Do we win 40 items in a day? That seems like a lot, maybe. Sell a horse with a middle preference. Do we have a horse with a middle preference? I don't remember. Cautious corduroy, I don't really remember, but I did buy another ho horse stall. Maybe, oh, 7,000. Let's go to our full stalls. Upgrade? Yep. And then what else did she want from us? buy a horse stall. It's kind of expensive because I bought one. I didn't realize. Okay, let's breed. I wanted to breed a Ruby Almond, who's a three. Rainy Velvet. Sun System. It's a fun name. Raw Anchovy. Very interesting, uh, very interesting pattern. Color. I really... I'm not usually into this type of color, but that one's pretty cool. Oh, and I can look at five now. Sun, sunlight shambles, and I don't have a stud. If I breed with raw anchovy, then I definitely get a level three horse. There would be a chance for level four if I could upgrade my stall. Can I upgrade my stall? No. All right. What do we want? Raw anchovy. Oh, let's look at his history. I don't know. I kind of just want to do it to get the uh, <laughs> to get the task done. All right. 
Uh, maybe we should do a race then. Maybe with Sorrow's Violet because uh, we gave her that special extra money boost. Yeah, but I wanna, I wanna win, TJ. I don't wanna. This one. Right, because we'll get more money. Right, let's do it. I've been doing racing whenever I can, just to get some extra money. It's quite fun. Of course, I'm doing a video now, so I'm probably not gonna do as well as I normally do. Okay. It's oh, this is the horse that likes to be in the middle, actually. Sorrow's Violet, off to a magnificent start. Bookies are nervous. Mind Benefit is right there. Sorrow's Violet in control. Bassoon bestseller striving forward, doing battle with Turkey's Echo. Just in front of Mind Benefit, Slow then down. Realistic yeah. Rocket. 900 to go, and it's Sorrow's Violet head and head with Bassoon bestseller. A length away, it's Mind Benefit. She's getting ahead anyway. 800 to run, it's Sorrow's Violet. On the inside, it's Bassoon bestseller from Turkey's Echo. Closely followed by Mind Benefit, Gizmo Aurora remains at the back. We're good, we're fully charged. At the 600 hole, it's Sorrow's Violet. Bassoon bestseller in second, and then it's likely Hipster. Three lengths away, it's Turkey's Echo. Contending with Mind Benefit. Echo. Continuing Echo. around the track, it's Sorrow's Violet. Bassoon yeah, bestseller in Let's second place, place, followed by Likely Hipster. Four lengths behind, it's Rivety Feature. Got Sorrow's this. Violet in first spot. Bassoon bestseller in second spot. Likely Hipster next. As they come towards the line, it's oh, Sorrow's oh, Violet. Yeah. Bassoon bestseller wants the front. Oh, meet the new foal. Okay. It's a stallion. I got the achievement. I saw it. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Oh, yeah, let's get to stallion. I don't I don't really like caring for the foals. Pawns asteroid. Pawns asteroid. Uh, randomized. Brooding bunny. Extra letter. Revenge tulip. Revenge tulip. Confirm. <laughs> Confirm real fast. Wow. He's handsome. Let's use him as our stud so we can get to breeding. Ma'am? Uh... I have been breeding. Where have you been? Oh, okay. Ooh, vacuum violet. Oh, I like that he's got a cautious corduroy. That's my horse. Oh, yeah, because I got a ruby almond. <laughs> Duh, of course. Raw anchovy. Questionable buzz. And secret sherbert. These names, they kill me. I love it. I mean, yeah, I can. I can buy another horse stall. Fine. But then I need some more money. <laughs> I need you to pay me more money. I guess the, the trick is now is that like I have the stud and I have the mares. So I could just breed horses and sell them without the intent to keep them. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure which horses I want to keep. Oh, cause Cautious Corduroy has a very unique coat. That's why I kept that one. Ruby Almond I've kept because she is uh, rank three. She's really good at racing. Yeah, she's the highest earnings. Um, and she's not a bad color. Revenge Tulip, he's questionable, but he's my stud. What can I say? Unless I get a cooler looking one. I think I'd like to breed him with Cautious Corduroy. We should give that a try. 
Because uh, I love the look of that horse. Revenge Tulip. It still costs a lot of money. Holy cow. It's less money, but it's going to use some of my items. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Cautious Corduroy is ranked two. That's okay. Let's do it. <laughs> and do some racing while we're waiting because I need money as always. Um, 1,100. What was that daily goal? Earn how much from 23,000? I would have to click almost 23 times. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just race. Should we try the next one? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Ruby Almond, you say? All right, let's do this. Let's go with Ruby Almond. We'll give it a go. If it doesn't work out, we'll move back down, do the lower ranked races to get higher money. <laughs> It's race on here at Parsons Valley. Basket Barnacle setting the pace right from the start. Also running well in Speed Shade. <laughs> These speed names. Speed Shade. You Once guys again in the front spot. Outspoken in, the below, in third. On their back is Facebook. Face Feast. Neck and neck with Basket Barnacle. Ruby Armour. The like leader. Outspoken Anchor in second position. Just behind is Chuckle Car. Just, just can has a margin over Speed Shade. Frozen Fate in 12th place. A length behind, it's Avenging Stranger. I'm trying to cut them off. With 600 meters to go, it's Ruby Armor. Outspoken Anchor in 2nd place. Chuckle Car. Next, Basket Barnacle with a brilliant turn of foot. Frozen Fate with a magnificent run. Ruby Barman piloting the field. Outspoken Anchor traveling on the fence. One meter away, it's Chuckle Car. Two lengths away, it's Basket Barnacle. Just has a margin over face feast. Yes, I got from coming up towards the line. It's Ruby Bar. Now Slogan Anchor in second. And then it's Chuckle Car. Stride for stride with Basket Barnacle. Now Slogan Anchor leading. Chuckle Car in second position. Second. They will call I got up for the there camera. At the end. Ruby Barber takes a fantastic win just in front of Chuckle Card. Outspoken Anchor gets the third place. That was so cool. Oh, well, I would like to see that. Thank you. That was super cool. I love that they showed the camera. Ooh, that horse is like. Woo! 5,000! Even if we got Chuckle Card, you were saying. Um, and it is Basket Barnacle. Even if we got in second, that's 4,000 gold. That's so cool. Maybe I should have done the 40 items. Oh, that's so cool. Um, money, please. Back, 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 back. Let's meet our new foal. From bread entirely. In-house from our stud and our mare. What? Is, oh my gosh, it has a badger face. And it got its dad's colors and its mom's uh, markings. Wow, what a cutie. Oh, it's a filly. Oh no, do I have a stall? Yes, I bought one, right? Oh, wow. She's so cool. Do I want to care for it? I don't. I really don't. Hedgehog wing. Hedgehog wing. Yep, let's do it. Hedgehog wing. Wow. Oh, she's fantastic. I am so excited. Yes, let's take a picture of this horse. <laughs> wow, no, no tack. She's too pretty for tack. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Ooh, this one complements her colors pretty well. Fancy, fancy. Yeah. Ooh, nice. 
Love it. Okay. Took some pictures. Oh, you know what? Actually, I wanted to try the multi horse with my cool, cool color ones. Uh, yep. No, no attack. Yeah, exactly. I just wish I could get rid of the names. Overview. Yeah, it still keeps the names. They're so rad. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Oh, wow. Now I don't know what to do. Because if I want to add another horse stall, it's going to cost me 6,000 gold. And, oh my goodness. I guess I could start selling some of my level 2 horses. Maybe even Sorrow's Violet. Because she's level 1. Maybe I should use her till her skill thing is done and then... Uh, then sell her. Otherwise, maybe Cookie Clam. No, I really like her markings. But it's very similar to Cautious Corduroy. And uh, how did I do that? How did I? Oh, cool. Wow. I want to breed her, but I don't know that I want to breed her <laughs> with her dad. That seems wrong. Oof, goodness gracious. Actually, they were related anyway because it's Ruby Almond and Cookie Calamity. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Really bad. I would like to breed her with a darker colored horse and see what comes out. Maybe we'll race with Sorrow's Violet and then uh, sell her. Let's race. I don't think she's gonna do very well there, so. Yeah, this one. Sorrow's Violet. Me? I would like to be me. Oh. Yeah. We're underway here at Sewell Meadows, and first away is Bamboozled Queen. Right there is Sorrow's Violet. Then as the race moves on, it's Sorrow's Violet. Magpie Baby in second spot. Holiday's Beard, fourth spot, trying to fend off Alarming Abacus. Magpie Baby in the lead. Motionless Hour, charging through. Doom Ash, pushing past horses. Magpie Baby, still in first place. Motionless Hour wants the front. A length away, it's Sorrow's Violet. Two lengths behind, it's a oh, Abacus, followed by Dust Liberty. Power was there. Pounding down the course, it's Bagpipe Babies. Sorrow's Violet, looking comfortable in that position. Grappling with Motionless Hour. Sorrow's Violet leads the race. Discovery Daylight has dropped from the sky. That's fantastic. Oh, what was my goal that I reached? Oh, three horses. New. Place first at Seawell Metals Race 3. I don't think I have Race 3. No. Finish in the top two of Race 2 one more time. Did Sorrow's Violet do okay? No. Her odds are really bad. Sorry. Let's go again. I feel really bad because she's my first horse, but she's also <laughs> rank one. Racing. Sunlight Science charges out of the machine. Patient Hickle is showing early speed. 
Pounding down the course, it's Sunlight Science. Armand Wright in second, in next, it's Patient Hickle. Winners drop in fourth position, fighting for position with satisfactory sound. Yeah, she's just... Sunlight <laughs> Science <laughs> releasing the field. Armand Line in second position, heads up and down with satisfactory sound. Then plan aftershock, stride for stride with brain bugs. Continuing around the track, it's Sorrow's Violet, Satisfactory Sun, overtaking now, putting in a strong bid with Arm and Blood, going hammer and tongs with Sunlight Science, Brave Buds, gaining momentum and flying through. Sorrow's Violet, out in front, Satisfactory Sergeant in second place. One link behind, it's Brave Buds. One link behind, it's Brave Buds. With Arm and Blood, just behind, it's Flat Aftershock. Sorrow's Violet, holding the lead. Satisfactory Sergeant in second spot. Two lengths behind, it's Armand Line. Head and head with Grey Buds. About to run for glory, it's Sorrow's Violence. Satisfactory Sergeant wants the front. Next, it's Grey Buds. Sorrow's Violence still in first place. Followed by Lullaby is finishing at a rate of knots. Sorrow's Violence secures a great win. Just hold. Good for her, but now. Now she needs to go into retirement, I think. I think, think, think. Oof. It's gonna be tricky, but... Uh, let's see. <laughs> 2,000 is her cell value. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sorrows Violet. But I need some space. Bye, beautiful. I'll miss you. She's off to a, a good home, I think. Uh, win any 40 items, 19 to go. Oh, okay, so I don't have to pick one of those. It's automatically going to count towards them. Yeah, our skill for a stallion distance learner. I only have one stallion, so. Uh, but let's see, I wanted to breed this new one. Yes. Maybe maybe I should race with her a little bit and see. No, let's just. Hedge hedgehog wing. I didn't even remember her name. Okay, rainy velvet sun system raw anchovy. Sunlight Shambles, uh, or Revenge Tulip. Let's uh, refresh. Eagle's Delivery. That's mine. Gherkin Rodeo. That's kind of funny. He's a cool color. Shining Splash. Questionable. Easy Going Earl. Aww. Eagle's Delivery. I wanted a darker horse. This is the darkest horse there is. Oh no, I don't want that. I don't like that. Ooh. Those, that coat pattern makes me nervous. He is cool looking though. All right, let's see what else. Uh, that was me. Eagle's Delivery. There's a darker colored horse. Lots of polka dots. Easygoing Earl. They're all very light colored. He's a cutie though. Shining Splash, a bit darker. Oh, this is a. Oh, but he's only two. How could you? I like his history though. Baby Beep! All right. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> We can speed up foaling if you want. I don't want. It costs me money to do that, man. Stop trying to get me to spend my monies. I'm trying to earn monies. Uh, we need to place in this race to unlock the next one. So who should we race? Ruby Almond? Ruby Almond.
Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we should buy another full song. The starter gets us underway here at Sewell Meadows. Ruby Armour is off to a fabulous start. Hunters would be happy with themselves early. Rain and River is also in the run. The race continues with Ruby Armour. Oh. Rain and River in second place. A length behind its sailor's similarity. From Abominable Puzzle, Chucko Chuck is fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with Loud Rumble. Ruby friend. Armour. Maintaining the lead. Rain and River in second spot. And then it's Sailor's Similarity. Head head with Smash here, sweep. On their back is Abominable Puzzle. I don't know if it has any other Storm Sketch. A length place. A length away is Ace Duchess. Still going, it's Ruby Armour. Rain and River wants the front, Ooh, putting up a challenge to Loud Problem. Blended description is coming with a huge run. Ruby Armour. At the head of affairs, Rain and River in second, just behind its head loud problem. Two lengths away, it's blended description. Continuing around the track, it's Ruby Barman. Loud problem in second, just ahead of Rain and River. Then blended description. Ruby Barman keeping the front. Loud problem in second position, closely followed by Rain and River. It's on now, folks. Loud problem in second place, putting in a strong bid with Rain River. Ruby Farm keeping the lead. Loud problem in second spot. Nice. That one was clear. Ruby Farm has bolted home to walk in. Loud problem in second. We did not need any picture to tell us who won that one. All right, let's take a peek at our full. Our very expensive fall. Oh, some light markings. Ooh. Oh, it's a colt. Tripped a little bit there. Let's skip to stallion. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. Duty trapeze. Trombone blade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's its name now. I think I prefer the other one. Oh, he's, he's handsome, though. Ah, but he's a two. I think we'll sell this one. Sorry, trombone. It was nice to meet you, but you were really just here for money. <laughs> Way more to breed him <laughs> than he sells for. Oh, sorry, bud. All right, who else do we have? I really, I want... Let's try it again. Should we upgrade? We can't yet. That one. I want something here. I mean, we could do... Mm, it feels weird to do those two. Because they're related. Those are two. Gherkin Rodeo. I love that. And he's not the one I bred with, right? Hmm. Should we refresh? Let's refresh. I like how the horse barely changed. Automatic flicker. Lord of Love, get out. Blessed Broccoli. Healthy picture. Oh no, they were all level two. Lord of Love. I need to see his pedigree. Oh, he's got one of those weird ones too. Lord of Love. I don't know, man. Automatic Flicker. Also very light colored horses. But maybe that could be fun. It could be fun to get a, like a white horse or... Yeah. Okay. I spend so much on breeding horses, but it's just so much fun. And we're gonna get a rank three out of it. It's too much fun. Cautious Corduroy would like to breed that horse again. But also, rank two Cookie Calamity. 
is so cool looking. Maybe we should sell Cautious Corduroy. I just really liked her color. And she's got the Revacano. Is she my only Revacano? No, because I have Hedgehog Wing. Okay, I think we should sell Cautious Corduroy. Beautiful name, beautiful horse. Let's sell. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, full stalls. I only have one full stall. Can I add another? Add full, oops. Three thousand. But then we have to upgrade it as well. quite as much as I thought it would, so that's not bad. Um, cookie Calamity. Ruby Almond. I love Ruby Almond. I could breed Ruby Almond with... No, that's his mom. <laughs> that feels weird. I forgot. I forgot. Kinetic point, Ash Anticipation, Lord Luck. No, I don't want any more twos. I don't want any more rank twos. Kinetic point. Oh, there's some fun stuff going on there. Look at those. Vixen's Sandwich, Ash Anticipation, Penguin Daylight. Um... Ooh, that's almost all my money. Maybe it's time to go race. Oh gosh, that was risky. <laughs> oh, we have our full is here. Our full is here. Oh, it looks just like the dad. Cute face, but new colt. Blur fruit. Blur fruit. Fruit. Bunting blackbird. Button banter. Does that say flatulent? Flatulent flute? <laughs> Cruel bauble. Cruel bauble. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do I want this horse? I don't think that I do. But. We have the space for it for a moment. So we can think about it. I need to do more races. Okay, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up here. You guys tell me your thoughts. What I should do next. Uh, should we breed Cruel Bobble? Because I don't know. I don't know that we should, but it could help to have two. Um, it could help to have another stud to use. But we'll see. Hedgehog Wing, beautiful, but not passing on those traits like I thought she would. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you so much for joining me. I'm having a blast playing this game. I'm going to do some more races to bring in some money and we could do some more breeding next time. But thank you again and I will see you soon. Bye!